Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So just getting straight into it, just talking about some of the Nintendo Direct we had a couple of days ago. First off with the Nintendo Switch Online, it's always been a disappointment for me. I just feel as if it's taken a step back. If you look at what we had on the Wii U and the 3DS, although we had to pay for the individual games, we had access to so many more games. Now all they're doing is basically emulating the game. So they've had the emulators for a long time, all the way back to even the Wii, because the Wii had emulators uh, on it as well. And to release Game Boy, Game Boy Advance games after six years of the Nintendo Switch being out, it's just poor for me. If they came out and said, here's you know, 50, 60 games straight away, but what have we got? We've got sort of, what, six games on the Game Boy, six games on the, the Game Boy Advance. Um, and even one of the Game Boy Advance games is Super Mario Bros. 3, which we've, we've already got on the SNES anyway. So, yeah, I'm just I'm just disappointed with, with the Nintendo Switch Online service. It, as I say, it's a step back for me for how much access we had on that 3DS uh, and the Wii U. I just think they need to look at it, maybe Steam is the wrong example, but I just feel as if, at least if you buy a new PC, you can then just play your old PC games from your Steam library that you've bought. I just think, could they have not carried that on from the Wii U and the 3DS? You know, I bought so many games on the 3DS and the Wii U. And I just feel as if, if, if all you're doing is emulating, can we not have them on the next console? So, a little bit of a disappointment for me, and I've always been disappointed with the um, with the online service from Nintendo. It does need a massive overhaul for me. So, just getting some of that negative stuff out of the way straight away. I don't want to sound really negative about it. It's just, I feel as if I've bought these games multiple times on multiple systems and I'm just a little bit sick of repaying for them over and over um, and that's that's where my frustration lies is having to constantly pay out to play these games some of them are absolutely fantastic but you know I've bought some of the Mario games on the Wii on the Wii U on the 3DS I think it would be nice for them to to give something back to to us now rather than having to uh, to keep paying for like a streaming service but what's what's your opinion? What what do you think about the um, the online switch service? Are you happy with it? Disappointed like me, or or what do you think they need to do to improve it? And what games would you like to see? Because I remember on the 3DS we had access to um, Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, Silver, yeah, and Crystal as well. So and they even bought out the little cardboard boxes, even they just had a code in. But yeah, hopefully we see a few more games added and. And they add them a bit quicker, rather than just drip feeding one or two every couple of months. I think they need to be a bit quicker about it. If you haven't played the original Fantasy Life, you've still got, what, about five weeks until the 3DS eShop closes down. Go and pick it up. You might be able to still find the physical uh, on eBay um, if you look hard enough. But it is a fantastic game. I wasn't that surprised to see a new game being announced, to be honest with you, with the amount of um, kind of farming simulators and action RPGs and RPGs on the Switch. This didn't come as a surprise. Um, the second game went straight to mobile, um, which was a disappointment. But the first game is absolutely fantastic. So I'm really excited to play this one. I'm getting a lot more Animal Crossing vibes than I had the first time around when I played the first one. So it's going to be interesting to see how this game has developed, but really excited for this. The first one was definitely a cool game. Everyone I know who's played it loved it. Did you have it on the 3DS or did you, did you miss out on this game? This isn't a dig at Fire Emblem Engage, I, I really love that game. This is just 
um, one of the parts I wanted to talk about. DLC. There was so much DLC announced. Um, so we had Fire Emblem DLC, we had Xenoblade DLC, we had Splatoon DLC. Um, it seems to take up a massive chunk of the Direct. And that's fine, but it's just... It's just frustrating for me. I'm not a massive fan of DLC. I'd rather they just include it in the game and charge everyone a little bit more for the game. But it feels as if if you enjoy the game, you then miss out on lots of stuff if you don't want to then buy all these various expansion packs. And there's so many. It's like Wave 1, Wave 2. And even Splatoon 3, that felt like more of a DLC rather than a brand new game. So... Why we need another expansion pack on top of that. So, yeah, I was just frustrated with the amount of DLC that got announced uh, during the Direct. Not a dig at Fire Emblem Engage at all. What's kind of your stance with downloadable content? How do you feel about it? Are you someone that, whatever game it is, you tend to buy? Or do you pick and choose? Or, like me, do you kind of just avoid it completely? What's, what's your stance on it? One of the reasons I bought the GameCube was because of Metroid Prime. It was I'd never played anything before. I'd never touched the Metroid series until I tried it on the GameCube. So I was excited to see um, this remaster. When I watched the trailer originally, uh, I was really nervous because I thought, is it just going to be kind of a straight port with a little bit of improvements? But actually, since I've watched um, some footage of it, uh, and played it a bit myself it they've done a really really good job uh, i'm super impressed with this i know that sometimes people um get frustrated about these hd ports and you know these games coming over that haven't had any kind of improvements but no nintendo have done really well with this one it looks fantastic plays really well i think my only frustration with this is i think obviously all those rumors about the trilogy is true and I think it's just a frustration that we're going to have to buy all of the games separately instead of having um, that trilogy pack that, that we had um, for the Wii and that we got with the um, Mario 3D All-Stars. That's the only frustration with this one. Yeah, this one I just thought it seemed a shame not to mention it because I haven't heard anyone really talking about this one. There's been so many other big announcements that this one kind of... Has been forgotten about but yeah disney uh, illusion island it looks like a great little platformer there's nothing i guess spectacular about it i just love this art style i love a good classic disney platformer you know they can't beat the classics like lion king and aladdin and stuff so yeah i'm just looking forward to trying this one out it's a little bit more of a i guess relaxed game than some of the stuff that uh, i've been playing recently and i'm quite excited for this one so let me know, what do you think? Are you excited for this one? Has it kind of been forgotten about because of all the announcements? But yeah, I'm looking forward to this. And then lastly, we've got to talk about obviously the new Zelda game coming out. I think before I saw a lot of the trailers, I was a little bit worried. I just wondered whether or not it would live up to the, um, to the hype of Breath of the Wild, but... It just looks fantastic. I still have this belief that we're going to play as Zelda at some point in the game. I don't know why. Um, I'm sure we probably won't. But I just feel like they're going to throw something at us that's going to be a little bit different. And I just felt like it was going to be that we play as Zelda. So it could be wrong. It could be like Metal Gear Solid 2, if you remember that, when you start the game off and, uh, and you don't play as Snake. So we'll see what happens. Are they going to throw a Metal Gear Solid at us? I'm not sure. But yeah, it looks like the world seems a little bit more um, dense, I guess is that the word? It looks like, I don't know, the grass and the water. I'm a little bit more impressed by, by how they look. I think they've probably realised that they can push the Switch a little bit further. There was also some of um, Link's face on, on part of the clip looked a little bit different to Breath of the Wild, so I'm not sure. But it does look like they've really pushed the Switch 
and they've just filled everything out a little bit more the world just looks a bit more vibrant like there's more to it there's more trees and as i say the grass the uh, the water and i'm really excited for this one i tried desperately to get the special edition and i missed out i'm not paying scalper prices so i'm disappointed about that hopefully they might come back in stock on the on the nintendo uk website but i've been searching and searching and uh, and missed out on the on the pre-order so i'm disappointed with that but you know i'm excited six years on from uh, from when i first unboxed the switch and hopefully get that same kind of feeling that i got six years ago but i'm excited what did you think of the nintendo direct i think there was a little bit of something in there for everyone as i say i was a little bit disappointed with a few things but there was also lots of great stuff as well let me know in the comments below what you thought and if you're new hit subscribe and i look forward to seeing you in the next video take care everyone thank you